Madeline Arts Center. Now that's a, it's a tremendous piece of property, a tremendous thing for this area. Uh, you've got a lot of your originals and, and a lot of different things in there. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Okay, uh, th this whole thing started when my son got me to stop selling my originals because he had the idea of an art center after I died. And in the next 10 years, we acquired so many of these originals that for storage was a problem. You know, they, it was taking up so much space, we thought, well, we may as well start earlier to build the center and then so they'll be housed properly. My wife and I both realized that, you know, give something back to the state if we have it out here. And we could do it because of the freeway. See, the city gave us a, a land out there and I wanted it used properly. But we're going to have all, hopefully all different types of wildlife out there for people to walk. And we've got the, the trails are all concrete, so a wheelchair can go a whole mile in the park all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're coming down the interstate, I-29, the Arts Center just kind of rises out of the prairie. It's a, it, it's a unique uh, building, they call yeah, it. That was my, my son's... He said, I want to get it up as high as we can on the prairie so people can see it as far as they can. And yeah, you see it like, I don't know, about four miles away in most directions. I yeah. think it stands out. It's, uh, it, uh, somebody brought up the term curb appeal, and I love that. You know, it's curb appeal for the town is what it was meant sure. to be. Sure. And the park and everything that will add so much to that also. Now you've got about 150 originals. Uh, I think it's it's around 150. 150. Then we have a, I have a lot of really originals of all my early art, you know, mm -hmm. sketches from art school from when I was even a little kid. So that really it makes, it takes about, for the average person I think to go through it right now, probably takes about three hours of just, you know, the, the, the tourism industry and buses are so much larger than I ever dreamt. We've had as many, in one day, our, the maximum we've had was 12 buses coming in unannounced in one day in the summer. I mean, be multiple all the time throughout the summer. And now they're starting to schedule. See, we're on their steady sure. routes because the people, the feedback to the people have been so tremendous that they say, you got to get that on the must-see thing, sure. you know? And sure. they're doing it all the time. That's, that was something we never thought about. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go out and, uh, and look at the Art Center and show the folks what, uh, what they can see when they come up I-29 here at Watertown, South Dakota. Okay, Howie. Our goal is to always keep it free, and what we have is the, um, the gift shop. We put in a small gift shop. Well, things just sell like everything in there, and all that money goes to support the museum. So as of right now, it is totally self-supporting, too. And so uh, gift shop. your America the Beautiful, you also use, uh, use that for, uh, for help with the museum. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. I've, uh, I have actually donated uh, to the foundation part around, right up to now, it's around 20... Uh, editions, 20 limited editions, where all the money that comes in from that, from around the country, goes to add to the museum. The thing I wanted to show you, just for the fact that I, I goofed in it, and the, the uh, farm people are very quick to tell me, a lot of them recognize it right off, and I, what had happened, I was in the middle of the painting, and I paint all over a picture, I, don't, I just don't finish one area. And in the process of painting all over the picture, I did this and realized that I thought, oh, I screwed up on it, but I'll change it later when I get back to it. You know, so I kept on painting all over it. Then I rotate pictures, and so maybe a week later, I get back to the picture. I totally forgot about making the change, but I hear about it. And the, the thing is, the tractor there that's uh, directly in front of you and almost in the middle of the painting with its lights on, the treads are backwards. I, and I did, I did the treads the wrong way, you know, they, they, would, they would be on the other way. And so <laughs> when the farmers pointed out, I said, oh, no, 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 that, the forward gears are out on that and it only goes in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> to me, there's nothing more fun in a day to get up in the morning and when I go to bed at night, something exists that didn't exist when I got up in the morning. You created it. Yeah, I did something, see. Yeah. That's, that's the fun part. Yeah, the love, isn't it? They're head trips. Yeah. Is what they are. Yeah. And I don't like the copy uh, per se. It's total reference. As far as the scenes go and everything, they're all head trips. Mm -hmm. If you have the opportunity to visit the Redland Arts Center in Watertown, South Dakota, you'll not only be amazed by Terry's artwork, but the building itself is a masterpiece. The Arts Center is open throughout the year and the admission is free. For more information on the Redland Arts Center, you can contact them at 1-877-T-REDLAND or on the web at www.redlandart.com.